Is there one trapped inside the island? Do I have a little? Oh, hello. Oh, you've got a fishing rod. How good on you. Here's the deal. I want to go into that ocean monument, get the sponges. All right. Slime blocks are useful in ocean monuments because despite the, oh look, sponges. So I brought a conduit. The conduit gives me certain powers. It gives me some light and then I can put down, whoops, I can put down prismarine blocks, right? Blah, 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 plop. Plop, plop, plop. That should give me conduit power, right? Yep, now I have conduit power. Oh, hello. Oh, I wonder how the trident does against these guys. So I am now inside the ocean monument. I have water breathing and I have um, night vision thanks to the conduit. And because I have conduit three, I think uh, the conduit power should extend over the entire ocean monument. It's, oh, hello. And there's a sponge, give me my sponge. And yeah, let's take out you. And one more Elder Guardian down. Oh, hello. Will you stay there for me? Oh, he's really in close quarters up there. I don't want to, like, swing in. Who's got me? Oh, there he goes. Yay! I got him. All three down. Oh, don't. Don't do that. All right. I got two minutes of mind fatigue. And then I can... I can work my way back out of here. Okay. And I can collect those sponges and then I can... I can leave. Because honestly, I don't need... I don't necessarily need to tear... Oops. I don't need to tear this monument down so much. Okay. And come back over here. Here we go. Oh, it, I, ugh. entrance left. It was right there. Very good. Why did you just die? <gasps> the conduit was killing them. <gasps> the conduit power helps. That's kind of awesome. Nobody up here, is there? No, let's get up in here and wait for the... Wait for... Let's see another golden apple. Yeah. Very nice. Elder Guardian head. Water bottle. I can ditch those. Very good. Mining fatigue, one minute left. Very nice. So anyway, that is uh, that is the Magic Castle. There is there's three main theaters. Or there's a main theater, which is called the Palace of Mystery. There's a... Um, it's like got a stage and there's seats and and it's uh and that's the main like the headliner of the castle plays in there and there's usually two or three different magicians and an MC and it's all <clears throat> it's all good and they do big stage illusion type magic and then you have I have no idea what time of day it is do I and then there's a place called the Parlor of Prestidigitation, which is uh, sort of parlor magic, which is also on a stage with seats, but it's a smaller, more intimate venue. And then there's um, uh, 
then there's the close-up room the close-up room is super cool it's a tiny little room seats like i don't know 18 people something like that oh okay what oh, okay these are all going to be wet so i don't have to clear out space in my inventory Let's see how many i got so I got three from the Elder Guardians plus whatever I'm going to get here. Um, and the close-up room is like there's no seat inside the place that's more than I don't know, 10 feet away from 10 feet away from the magician. Uh, so it's super close, super intimate, and you get to oh, fill up my air bubbles. Um, and, uh, and the magicians that perform there are typically very good. Oops. I did not mean to take that out. Uh, so anyway, that's super, that's super exciting. And then there's a smaller, there's another theater. It's larger than the close-up room. It's called the Peller Theater. And, uh, it's relatively, it's relatively new. I've got 39 more sponges, and I didn't use any of the ones that I brought with me. This is very cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then there's there's a there's a pretty much a bar every 10 feet. It's uh. Oh, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. There's there's a bunch of bars, so you can get. Oh, you know what? Don't forget my conduit. Got my conduit. I don't need these. Very nice. Okay, so let's put down one of these here. So conduit go on top of there and do that if we want to continue uh, at this point. I just need to get out of here. And my boat's right there. And it's raining. Let's go back to my little island. Super cool. And I didn't even... I didn't need to use any more potions. And I didn't need to dry out any sponges. All kinds of things. Very cool. Nice. Monument down. Uh, yeah. Let me put down... I have all kinds of stuff here. I don't need these raw cod. I have a furnace here that I can put down and dry out these sponges. I brought, I have some dried kelp blocks which make fantastic fuel. Let's put that in and dry out those sponges and I'll pack and put the rest of my stuff away. Um, I don't know what time it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's the middle of the day. Okay. So, yeah. And the Peller Theater it tends to be, like, more... Uh, it, it's sort of like the... The Palace of Mystery, but they tend to have more sort of uh, edgy magic in there, I guess, is the way I would describe it. I would think. I don't... I've never seen... I've only seen one show in the Peller Theater. Um, but it was, it was very good. It was, it was a group called the new bad boys of magic and <clears throat> they were, they were pretty darn good. Uh, so anyway, and then there's bars everywhere. There's a bar downstairs by the Peller called the WC Fields bar. And there's a lot of magic memorabilia and, and WC Fields memorabilia there. And they get great bar magicians to sort of work the bar there selling drinks and then there's another, uh, the Hat and Hair Bar, which is also downstairs, but on the other side of the building. And um, there's, a, there's a couple different magicians who kind of have regular gigs in there. So, uh, and that's, that's all cool. Um, and, uh, and then there's, there's other bars uh, as well. When you walk in the front door, there's a bar right there. 
If you go up the stairs to get to the upstairs stuff, there's a bar right there. And in between the Palace of Mystery and, and the parlor, there's a bar right there. There's just basically, you can't walk anywhere without finding a bar. So if you're into drinking with friends and seeing magic, it's a pretty fantastic place. And downstairs by the W.C. Fields Bar, there's a, a library. And then they have a little room off to the side where they do classes and they do the lectures and, and, and so on. And in the middle of it all is a big restaurant. It's actually pretty good. Used to be not so great, but it's pretty darn good now. Because um, I think they got a lot of complaints. And so it was... Ooh. Where do I put this? Um, these, they used to, I think they got a lot of complaints. Um, so that was, so they kind of upped their game on the, on the restaurant. The food is, is much, much better now. Um, and it's, uh, it's not bad. Uh, I've eaten there a bunch of times because you kind of have to when you go with, on a guest pass. Uh, but anyway, that is, the Magic Castle at a glance. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool place. And this should go here. Um, and I, I've been working pretty hard on my audition. I've got a couple things planned, a couple tricks planned. One is a kind of a dumb trick. It's a there's a trick that if you've ever seen a magic kit or received a magic kit, there's one trick in there called spiked coin, which is basically a plastic box that you put a coin into and then you stick nails through it. And the, the nails apparently uh, penetrate through the coin. Um, and typically it's done with a half dollar coin uh, or a little plastic disc that's the same size as a half dollar. And I, I've been, I'm kind of fascinated with dollar coins, the, especially what, what I've been calling the new dollar coins, even though they've actually been minted for about 40 years now. Um, but they, they came out when I was a kid. And the funny thing is the old dollar coins, what I think of as kind of the old silver dollars, they only minted those for about eight years. Um, and before that, they didn't have a dollar coin explicitly they had real silver dollars which now a silver dollar costs like a brand new i think a silver dollar is worth about 30 bucks when they're pure silver and the mint still makes them but they call them bullion and you can buy them as an investment you know for silver uh and they they charge more than the value of the silver so it's not even a uh you can't you know you can't get them at sort of scrap value uh, but they're beautiful coins uh, but they're they're worth a significant amount of money uh, far more than the one dollar face value that that they carry and uh, so uh, I use I have a Grover Cleveland presidential dollar coin that I will be using for the trick I think that's, I think it's a cool coin. I am, I'm kind of obsessed with Grover Cleveland. I think he's one of the more fascinating, oh, excuse me. I think he's one of the more fascinating presents we've ever had. And um, yeah, so he's, uh, um, so I, I do, I, I made my own dollar coin sized spiked coin box because nobody makes them. <laughs> Nobody makes a um, dollar coin. Nobody makes dollar coin sized magic tricks, which is fascinating to me. Uh, but uh, because the dollar coins are not terribly popular, people just never really latched onto them the way they, uh, I think, the mint hoped they would. Uh, the reason that they make them. Uh, is because they're they're more expensive to mint than a dollar bill is to, but they are. Let's see here. Uh, but they are designed to last longer, 
So they are expected to last, be able to last 30 years. And a dollar bill is only expected to last like 18 months. So that's, uh, so that's that. Um, but as I like them, I, I think they're neat coins and um, so I do the trick with that. I made my own magic prop. I made my own uh, magic tricks, essentially. And I do a little thing where there's a... Uh, I do a little, like, shell game type thing with little cups that go over the coins. I have, like, the Grover Cleveland coin, and then I have a older versions of the dollar coin. I have Susan B. Anthony and um, Sacagawea. And hey, guys, keep it down. Um, <clears throat> so that is the. Wow, well, they're going after something over there. They're are they killing dolphins? Let's go take a look. Uh, so, and I want to use the Grover Cleveland coin because it's a special coin, and. It's floating up over here. Oh, squid. I don't really need the ink sacks. I have plenty at the squid farm, the former squid farm. But, you know, hey. Um, so I do a little thing where we cover up the three dollar coins with the little cups and mix them up. And then I sort of magically find the Grover Cleveland coin. Um, so that's part of it. And then do the little nail thing but instead of just nails i use little swords because as i said it's effectively it's a sword box for coins and uh yeah and then i have a card trick uh, it's called the three card prediction it's a trick by a magician named alan ackerman uh which is then sort of interpreted by a, a fellow named steve ellers and <clears throat> and then uh i saw a, a guy named john Acido do this trick at the castle in the close-up room and uh, I decided to uh, I, I sort of figured out a way of doing what he was doing <laughs> which is mostly right it was, it was mostly there but it was a little bit different and uh, I actually ended up having the opportunity to talk with him about it and and how he does it and how um, it's it was different from what I figured out from what he was actually doing. So I'm planning on doing those two tricks. They're both somewhat long and sort of procedural little things. And then I've got a couple other tricks that I'm working on um, getting polished up so that I can actually do in the event that they want to see something else. Uh, but my, my strategy is going to be basically talking about they're focusing on me making stuff because I don't, I don't run around like, find strangers and say to them, hey, you want to see a magic trick? It's just not really um, something I, I do. <laughs> but I should get some torches before I go do what I was about to do. Um, <clears throat> um, I'm far more interested in being able to, in, in sort of making uh, magic tricks and using the technology that I've learned at CraftSpace in order to do that um, so you can make uh, lots of different things with the 3d printer and the laser cutter and CNC mill and so I'm hoping that that counts for something and the fact that I'm interested in doing that and can do the three card prediction trick which is kind of kind of a I don't know it, it uses a technique that is not super common. What's going on over there? Let's go find out. Um, and I think is fairly impressive. I think it. I think with the I've heard lots of different things, and there are different people have different ideas of what they're looking for in the audition process. No one seems to know. It seems to be a little bit of a crapshoot based on who happens to be there at the time. Uh, in general, I've been told that they're primarily looking just to make sure that you're not an idiot and that you didn't just go buy a... <clears throat> go buy a... 
trick at a you know cheap toy store and then bring them and do that trick um, I think they want somebody who's actually doing some something more substantial than that this is one of those underwater structures that's completely above water oh and there's a drowned over there hi buddy can I have a word with you There we go. And that means there's probably a treasure chest down here somewhere. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, I'm not an idiot. I don't think. I'm not necessarily going to be great at, at the audition, but I'm going to do the best I can, and hopefully that's enough. And then, hello, Mr. Chest. Uh, there's nothing here. Nothing. And I'm breaking fishing rod. Really? No treasure map? I guess it's not a... Whoops. It's not a shipwreck. Okay, I'm going to break that. So, the dolphins don't lead me astray here. Interesting. Okay. So, anyway, I think that's, uh, I think that's about it. I was just wanting to make that a little bit more clear because I... When editing the video last last time, it was just I was kind of cringing at how much I was stumbling around, how distracted I was and stuff. And I figured with the with the conduit, the ocean monument would probably be relatively straightforward. I'm going to go and there's another one over that way. I think I'm going to go get that one too, just because I'm out here. But I won't necessarily record that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know that it'll be necessary. But uh, I'm sorry talking so much about Magic Castle and magic and all that because I am just kind of obsessed and sort of the auditions coming up pretty quickly and I am stressed to the gills about it and nervous and but having to prepare but knowing what I have to do and I'm kind of working my way through it so I think I'll be I'll be ready to do something I think I can I can do the trick the way I need to already um, I just need I need a little more practice I need to do it in front of people and I've got a couple of uh, magic meetups scheduled at crash space we've been meeting with people who are interested in magic and I'll I'll perform it for them in a couple days. I'll walk through the whole routine, I think. That's the plan. And then I need to practice in front of the mirror and do all that good stuff. But I think that's it. And in a few weeks, once the audition has happened, and I'll either... And at that point, I'll then be waiting to figure out if they're going to accept me or not. <laughs> but um, hopefully they do. And at that point, I'll be able to go to the magic castle whenever I want, which is super cool. Um, but that's it for now. Uh, took down that ocean monument. And of course I've been recording much longer than I expected, but it seems to be the par for the course these days. I think that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron and it's Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time, right? Bye.